guys, this is Jared aka The Saint of Sins and I want to take this moment to thank all of you for checking out this video and subsequently my channel and hope that you all continue to give me a chance uh, with my forward progress in this uh, new channel of mine. Um, first off, a little bit about the gameplay. This is me obviously playing a little bit of Call of Duty Black Ops. This gameplay footage was recorded back in October when I first got my PVR and was still setting it up. One of the big reasons I'm deciding to even display this game, not so much because it's great gameplay footage, uh, it's more of um, testing the technical boundaries of my computer, which um, this footage proved to be a monstrous test for my old computer. Thankfully, that was scrapped. Um, all I will say is uh, my old computer would have taken about 150 to almost 180 hours uh, time in order to render out this footage of 12 minutes gameplay. Um, whereas my new computer, uh, with a couple of tweaks here and there, went from about 80 hours to all the way down to the more manageable hour and a half to two hours. Thankfully for that. Uh, what I plan to do here is, um, I'm not going to really talk too much about the gameplay footage. Because one, it's it's just not very good, and two, um, I think it's pretty evident that I am not a very good player, especially considering this was my first game of Black Ops since uh, I want to say March, maybe April, and I had completely uh, just fumbled around with the controls after playing about a week, week and a half of uh, Battlefield 3's uh, open beta which I thoroughly enjoyed and, and wish I had the uh, funds to actually purchase the game when it was released. I still hope to get a copy of it at some point um, in my lifetime. Uh, wh what I'm really going to do with this video here is I I'm going to introduce you guys to me. Uh, some of you may already know me from my other YouTube channel, Moral Virus, in which I do vlogs or vlogs or however you pronounce them um, about wrestling and sometimes sports and very rarely um, social topics very very rarely uh, for the most part I'm I'm kinda known for just talking about wrestling and uh, being very vulgar within the wrestling community uh, on YouTube that's pretty much who I am uh, for those of you who've never seen any of my videos before or have never even heard of me before uh, quick introduction here. My name is Jared. <laughs> As I said in the uh, in the beginning, um, I'm 28, year 28 years old. I'm from the Bronx, um, and this is uh, what I like to do. I, I like to actually uh, deal with multimedia. Um, I, I'm into graphic design, illustration design, um, video editing. Uh, not so much audio. Audio is a bit out of my out of my league, to be honest. Um, not very good with uh, with composite compositing um, different sounds and, and making sure they all match up properly on pitches and all that. It, it's I'm more into the the, the visual. Um, what I plan to do with this channel, as you can tell already, I, I do plan on bringing a lot of gameplay footage. Uh, that should go without saying. Um, not so much uh, Call of Duty related gameplay footage because, frankly, I'm not a fan of the series. Um, I'm also not uh, particularly uh, into the idea of trying to compete against other more notable uh, YouTube commentators who feature a lot of Call of Duty footage on their channel. Um, what I pr hope to bring is a lot of variety of in gameplay footage. Um, th I, I enjoy a wide variety of different games, and I figure, you know, that could be to m more to my advantage than trying to compete with, uh, I don't know, other Call of Duty guys or whatever they, th you would specify them as being. Um, personally, uh, outside of maybe this and another video that I already have, uh, recorded and edited and synced up uh, you're probably not gonna see any other Call of Duty gameplay footage from me um, I'm not planning on buying Call of Duty 3 um, I mean Modern Warfare 3 I'm sorry I'm not planning on uh, really following the series beyond uh, what I already have here in Black Ops because I I've, I've played Modern Warfare 1 when it was really when it was initially released uh, on the PC wasn't a big fan of it 
Um, I I tended to be more into Halo, uh, and um, tried more. I I still try uh, to primarily stay away from the Call of Duty series after um, that sour taste in my mouth that was uh, my experience on the PC. Now I know that may not be fair to a lot of Call of Duty fans out there, simply because well. Um, you know, I was terrible on the PC. I'm not a PC gamer. I prefer to have a, a controller in my hand at all times because I grew up playing console games, and that's what I I, I know best. You know, uh, that's how I've adjusted as a gamer. But um, it, it, even still, trying to pick up what's uh, been going on re more recently with the uh, recent expansions of the Call of Duty franchise and trying to learn some of the ins and out of it really doesn't intrigue me as much as um, as uh, trying to pick up uh, some strategy for Halo Reach or Halo 3, which I was bigger on anyway. Um, to be honest, I, 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 I don't know for sure how many more FPS games out there really intrigue me enough to want to continue to go down this path of providing first-person shooter gameplay footage uh, on my channel. Um, I'm more into sports. Um, like I said, uh, or, or may have hinted at earlier, I'm I'm big on wrestling, but I haven't really found a, a, a wrestling video game that I've enjoyed since, um, what, 1999, 2000, maybe a little later than that. I know the, the last game that I thoroughly enjoyed out of the wrestling genre was uh, WWE No Mercy. Or WF No Mercy at the time, as it was called. Um, since then, I've not enjoyed any of the, uh, n none of the uh, SmackDown versus Raw series, really. Um, the, I did have a brief stint with uh, Fire Pro Wrestling, which is an, a, a bit of an older game um, by today's standards. I think, I think it was released sometime in 2002, 2003. Um, Really didn't get too big into that, uh, simply because uh, it did feel a bit, uh, I don't want to say restrictive, but it did feel that way at times. Um, it, it, it was it was farly superior to any of the SmackDown games I had played, but that wasn't really that high a bar to, to really you know jump over, um, as far as I'm concerned. One of the uh, one of the other things that I'm I'm really keen on is. Um, um, baseball, unfortunately, being stuck on a 360 and not having my PlayStation 3, um, that means I'm kind of stuck with uh, the more inferior uh, 2K game series for baseball, which I'm not very fond of. I probably will never become fond of simply because, well, it never feels like a true baseball game. Uh, oh, I'm also really big on on playing basketball games, not so much watching or following the NBA. Uh, to be honest, I, I haven't really, I, I was never that big a fan when I was growing up, even though I watched pretty much all the playoff games that came up on NBC uh, locally here in New York. Um, but it really didn't, really didn't strike my fancy. Um, I don't know. I, I, I certainly pr uh, preferred playing basketball to actually uh, watching it. And that 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 carried over even to video games, where I think the most fun basketball game I had played um, until recently was NBA Live '95, maybe NBA Live '96, one of the one of those two years. Um, but more recently, I fell in love with uh, NBA 2K11 and have been enjoying that and pretty much everything that it has to offer in in terms of challenge, in terms of. Um, just the overall carrying over the the entire spirit of the of the game of basketball and making it seem you know more about uh, being being in control of your player as opposed to just um, taking wild <laughs> wild shots that that have no prayer um, I guess is the way I can I can best describe it um, I, I, I so I'm planning on bringing a lot of um, NBA 2K11 gameplay footage, not so much 2K12 because, well, like I said, with uh, Battlefield, don't have the funds to really obtain it. But more, more importantly, what I've been hearing recently uh, for uh, NBA 2K12 has not kind of um, put me in favor of wanting to go out of my way to purchase and own this game title. Uh, I think 
I, th I think the uh, theory that um, the game was kind of rushed uh, might hold some validity simply because the, uh, you know, the, the lockout would have given them more time except for the fact that they had to maintain the regular schedule that they've always had and unfortunately they wanted to try out some new things and that didn't seem to pan out so well for them. I don't know. I, I really haven't even tried the game, so maybe I'm just talking completely out of my ass and shouldn't and should really reserve um, uh, my judgment until I've given the game a, a real fair shake. Uh, some of the other things I plan on bringing for this channel, um, I do a lot of Let's Plays, um, but I, I don't want to do it as a straight up Let's Play. Uh, I think that's kind of uh, boring and and very limiting. Uh, so I'm planning on bringing um, some variety in 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 the footage that I have already recorded uh, from Assassin's Creed Revelations and Batman Arkham Arkham City, uh, which are the most notable games that I that I have uh, already recorded up at the moment. I was going to bring some of uh, Deus Ex: Human Revolution, which I was vastly falling in love with, and even started considering to be my game of the year over Batman Arkham City. But I'll explain that in a little later in, in, in a different video. Until then, um, what I want to get across now with this short amount of time left on this video, uh, I, I, I hope that you are all um, going to join me on this little venture and uh, will follow me on my blogs, on my Twitter, on my Facebook, um, follow the channel. Uh, I don't really care if you like a video or don't like a video or if you f want a favorite. It, it, it's all up to you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask for the, this continual uh, show of love on my channel. But hey, if you're willing to show some love, that's fine. Um, but be sure to at least try and keep in touch with me because I do have a lot planned for the future of this channel and hope to entertain you the entire way through. Until next time, guys. Peace.